Now, one of Russia's most secretive agencies will now have to be more open about its activities. Dmitry Medvedev today ordered the Foreign Intelligence Service and a host of other state agencies to report to the public online. Prime Times Igor Piskunov knows something that we don't, so um, let's ask him a few questions. Igor, good evening. Um, are they going to let us in on more secrets then? Good evening, Anya. And actually, these decrees signed by the president specifically outline for people like us journalists, I guess, that state secrets uh, do not concern these decrees. They are still going to be kept secret. But it is a fact that from now on, nearly 20 key state organizations are obliged to publish information about their activities online. This list includes the police, the president's administration's uh, office, the foreign minister several security agencies and yes even the foreign intelligence service and actually all of this is is uh, some sort of a, somewhat of a continuation of a law which was enforced back in 2009 and was aimed at making uh, information on all state organizations and their services more uh, open and accessible to the public okay and um, does the general public really need to know all of this well, there's actually a huge discussion about this going on now in the internet, especially that that's the place where all of this information will be published. And the biggest question at the moment is, do the authorities really know what the public wants to know about them? And uh, as I've been reading through comments to uh, various articles on this issue, many bloggers are saying that they're not sure the government really knows what they want to know. For example, this one blogger was saying, now, he doesn't really want to know all the technical details of all the activities of the Foreign Intelligence Service. But what he and many other people do want to know is how do these state agencies spend the money which is allocated to them by the state budget? How are they tackling corruption? And what efforts are being taken to, uh, to create uh, more transparency? And actually, it's ironic, but uh, many people are saying that even though these steps are are aimed at uh, creating more transparency, they are lacking it themselves since the recommendations which are supposed to guide all these agencies and show them exactly what sort of information they have to publish, these recommendations still have not been published.